right, folks, but you guys idiot, we are back. Like Criminal Case on Facebook. Let's finish off Once Upon a Time in the East. That way we can see what's in the next district. Well, hey, Victoria may be dead, but there's still a problem with his gang evicting the residents of Coyote Gorge. You're right, we need to return to the Hacienda, where we're sure to find evidence of his dealings. Let us just beware of Victoria's guard dog. Hey, General Ace, I got word from the prison that Shamans wants to talk to you. He apparently kept everyone in the prison awake all night with his sobbing. Well, he's going to have to wait, Constable Ramirez. Ace and I have no time to spare. Well, don't be such a sour puss, Bond Temps. Ace, I'll be happy to talk to Seamus with you. As you wish, Madeline, but for now, Ace, we mustn't dally to the cow. Petchy Hacienda. Yes, yes, yes. What's up, sad guy? Oh, General Ace, I know I've done a terrible thing, but it was in self defense and in the name of love. I don't expect Gila to ever forgive me, nor will I ever forgive myself, but I must speak with her. Is that why you brought us here, Seamus? You killed her father. I doubt there's anything we can do for you. Oh, if only she had been there when I approached the Hacienda instead of her father. Please, please speak to her for me. Please ask her to come. Very well. I'll go to the Hacienda to try and speak with her, but we can't promise she'll come. Gosh, be a little bit more of a man. Don't just sob all the time. And I totally just screwed that up. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, Mark, if you're headed out, just make sure you check this. Uh, I'll be uploading the video a little bit later. So you'll definitely be able to, uh, to check out what happened. Gila made a run for it. Oh no, Ace, the discard suitcase is never a good sign. It's possible the Capetchis have made a hasty retreat. Good idea. See if you can find anything inside to tell us what happened or where they went. Ace, are we expecting a drought of clues? Oh, there are indeed markings at the base of this bus. Quite strange. We must recover them. Yeah, you got 10 years for self defense. That's pretty crazy. Although, you can only say that, like, he was the only person who said that and did it. We don't know for sure. I mean, we can guess and, uh, agree with him, but we, we there's no other witnesses. Excellent question, Ace. Why would anyone pack a torn letter? Let us piece it back together and see what it tells us. A section we're covering on the bus streets marked 929. Sounds vaguely biblical, but that's still what this means. I hope Evil have recovered enough to help us figure this out. Uh, can we, do we not have a Bible lighting around?
Aww. Oh no, Ace. The letter says, Seamus, what have you done is unforgivable. A mother and I are leaving Coyote Court. She says she will turn the river crimson with Irish blood. She let that. Rivers of blood? This doesn't sound good at all. I agree. Seamus walked away. We need to figure out where Frank is going in fast. It's a great idea, Ace. Maybe Victoria's security guard is still here. Let's see if we can find him. Yeah. Uh, something's telling me that, uh, that Frank is scarier than her husband. General A, she'll like sand in my boots every time I tough you out. The wind blows you, and there you are again, scratching my feet and putting holes in my socks. Mr. Ferrari, we are looking for Mrs. Capecci and her daughter. We need to speak with them. Can't. Gone. Packed up and left. Well, we must know where they went. This is urgent police business. I'm telling you the truth when I say I don't know. In a few days, I'll be out of here myself, starting a new life. But a word of warning for the mix in this town. Once Franca gets through with the Irish, the river will have so many bodies between its banks, she'll be able to walk across. Or even dare to generalize. Take this. Where I'm going, I won't be needing it. Well, he was unpleasant and unhelpful. Good point, H. You let her mention a river, and Marvin mentioned the river banks. Can't be a coincidence. But of course, turning the river crimson, Franca was talking about crimson banks, one of the city's commercial centers. So far, the Irish and Italians have coexisted peacefully in Crimson Banks. Franca takes a fight there. It's going to get out of hand fast. We need to inform Chief Wright of this. However, first I have to go tell Seamus that Gila is gone. Ace, I'll meet you back at the airship as soon as possible. Yeah, Franca, man. Franca, I think, was the mastermind behind everything. Evie, it's nice to see that you are already back on the job. I just can sit and twiddle my thumbs, and since Catherine is back at work, I thought it best to keep busy too. Ah, yes, I heard the two of you had uh, gotten closer. Anyway, were you able to find out what the text on the bus means? Of course. Mark 929, the Bible person reads, This kind cannot be driven, but anything but a prayer. Ace, why would I write this on a bus? Is there some kind of code? Indeed, Ace, Miss Brazier was buying on Victoria for the Irish. Perhaps you can point out. To point to where this clue connects, we must speak with her at once. Yeah, I hope she doesn't suicide either. Oh, you're lucky to have caught me, Ace. I'll be leaving Coyote Gorge soon. I'll be brief. You wouldn't by chance know what Mark 2929 refers to, would you? Hmm, that sounds biblical. Is it from Sodom and Gomorrah? <laughs> no, we found it engraved on a bus and we were wondering what. Wait. On a bus, you say? Oh golly, you found it. Found a what? The code to Vittorio's safe. I've been looking for it for weeks. I knew he kept it somewhere in the house. Vittorio's safe? Where's the safe? Do you know? It's hidden in the chapel. Vittorio would always go there to ask God for advice, but he wasn't fooling anyone. Thank you, Miss Brazier. Hey, so not a second to lose. Let's go to the chapel and get that safe. When you never catch your breath, do you, General A's? You should eat a little something before you go. My treat. Interesting. Looking like we're going to be able to get a little bit of uh, a little bit of a treasure. Hey, so I have proof of Victoria's unlawful land seizing in this safe. Let's try to open it with the coat you found. Interesting. Mark. Nine. Miss Brazier was right. Mark 929 was the code of Vittorio's safe. Papers within appear to be deeds of sale between Tech Coyote Gorge residents and Vittorio. This is exactly what we needed. It's pretty clear that those deeds aren't neat legal, but we still need proof. Good thinking, Ace. Do you should be able to spot any forgery? Ace, 
Ace, you were right. Those landies were fake. Every last one of them. If Torio had a gifted forger in his team, mind you, they almost fooled me. And I've likely fooled the railroad company, thinking the lands have been legally acquired. But the ink colors weren't exactly right, and there was no... Yes, very well, Mr. Del Lobo. Ace, we always knew Victoria was evicting people from the lands, but now we have proof that it was illegal. If we show these deeds to the court, they'll be able to give the people back of Coyote Gores their land. Let's speak to Judge Lawson at once, Ace. Nice. We're definitely going to be uh, invited to the ball. General Ace, what a pleasant surprise to see you outside of court proceedings. Well, actually, Mr. Lawson, Ace and Company sees the sale of the Capeche and Hacienda. We've identified them as counterfeit. Here we have concrete proof that the Italian king was unlawfully evicting Coyote Gordon residents to sell their property to the Concordian Railroad Company. I had feared with Mr. Capeche dead it would be impossible to prove his wrongdoings, but you have once again surprised me, General Ace. Thank you for your hard work. I shall ensure that each and every person listed in these documents have their property to be returned to them. I also inform the Concordia Railroad Company of the real nature of their dealings with the Italians at Coyote Gorge. I have no doubt they will change the railways, railways route accordingly. General Ace, you have done a great service in Coyote Gorge. Please accept the symbol's gratitude on behalf of its citizens. Ace, have you heard your chief approved my motion to join your team? It's going to be official flying squad consultant. Diego, that's fantastic news. You deserve it. I'm so proud of you. Yes, welcome to the team, Diego. We need to see the chief about something else, but we can do it later. Let's get you appointed. Diego De Lobo, you have been indispensably helpful to the Concordia Flying Squad. You rose to the occasion and have strongly supported our mission of justice. Under the condition that you forego your old, devious ways, I would take great pleasure in accepting you as a member of the team. Of course. I promise. Thank you so much. This is a great honor. As for you, Senior Trooper Race, Oh, I still think it's seen true race. I'd like to thank you for restoring justice in Coyote Gorge. Can't tell you how happy I am to be rid of this gang war once and for all. Actually, we found evidence indicating that Frank has run away to Crimson Banks to wreak havoc on the Irish. What? Ace, hey, Crimson Banks is one of the commercial hubs in the city. We cannot have gangs wrecking havoc there. Untether the airship and set a course for Crimson Banks. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Crimson Banks, baby. Let's go there. Look at that. Got all the... just enough stars. Crimson Banks. Nice. Six new cases. Heck yeah. Alright guys. Well, I will see you guys later. This is Machines 8. Over and out.